All right, welcome back, everybody. It's time to play some more uh, Tales of Zillia here. Last time, we caught Mila trying to leave without us. And we also <laughs> found out that the four spirits would not be resurrected so easily because they're stuck in a giant Pokeball. And I got Bedhead. Which was apparently just that little thing on top of my head. Yeah, but it's just a cowlick. Even in Japan, even their bedhead is more orderly. <laughs> I was going to say, my bedhead doesn't look like that. No, nor does mine. Leave me alone! Let's see, unless there's a stronger enemy, there's no real use in fighting all these guys. Oh, so they drop napples. Which we're still looking for. I don't think any of them dropped napples. Duh. You, you dropped napples. We're gonna get like mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we don't have Alvin with us. Nope, he's in town. Stop doing stuff. Ow! Jerk. <laughs> Yeah, we only get 19 experience from most enemies. Not really worth it to fight them. And no napples. Do you contain an apple? You don't. And I see a bottle. Which is not an apple. Hello, butterfly. Those butterflies don't have eyes. They just have, like, I don't know, a yellow orb for a head. <laughs> Took you long enough. I didn't expect to see Mila with you. So, you've made up your mind. Yeah, I'm going with Mila. Whoa, you're quite the flip-flopper. I thought you regretted getting involved. Did he? True, but I've made my decision to help her and I'm sticking to it. Is that right? Alvin, thanks for all your help. Oh. I almost forgot. We still need to pay you. Ah, uh, yes. My fee. Did a man go uh, get out deep, please? Macy's. He said he'd pay it. One of the villagers? Yep. He was all, thank you for looking after Lord Maxwell, and you saved our spirit. Hmm. That sounds like the Elder. He shouldn't have offered. Alvin, I'll pay you myself. You need to learn how to read your people, Mila. That old man was tickled pink to pay your debt. You'd crush him if you refused. You think so? I know so. Anyway, he told me to wait here for him. That was ages ago, though. Not sure what's holding him up. He's still in the village, right? Thugs. Most likely. Bears. We should find him. Don't forget to take care of anything you want while I'm still around. Once I get my reward, I'm out of here. Or excuse me, egg bears. <laughs> Is the elder's home? I hope so. This is not a home that I can enter. How about this one? Resistance, Resistance 3. three. Mm hmm. This looks like it would be an elder's house. Does it? No, oh, it's an assembly hall. Maybe it's that one that he was standing by in the beginning. No! No. Maybe. The one that's in the center of town? Possibly. No. That's residence one. That's residence one. Are you in here? Nope. Well, maybe. What is? No, that's not him over to the right. I don't think so, no. Just another older gentleman. Don't talk to me. This one? Residence two? My goodness, I'm right. Oh, let's go in there and make sure. Maybe he's in the assembly hall. No, nah, just kids just in Just children. Is this the assembly hall? Yes. Nope. Can't enter that one. Cows, horses, pigs everywhere. 
but not a single drop of feces. <laughs> That's how you can tell it's a video game. There you are. Lord Maxwell and your companions, forgive me for making you wait. Worry not. I hear you've prepared payment for Alvin. Yes, yes. The villagers all pitched in and collected a small fund ages ago. It's the least we can do to help you, Lord Maxwell. You hear farmers, not fighters, after all. I see. Told you. I appreciate everything you've done for me. Give me that gold, D. Interesting camera angle to, of course, obscure all of the money Sorry, transfers. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you for everything. Yeah, thanks. It was fun. See you around. Didn't want to model the money. Well, sometimes the Tales seri like series that. does get a little lazy. <laughs> That's a mercenary yeah, I have I noticed suppose. it. Yeah. I'm just glad they have all the bizarre mocap animations. <laughs> Speaking of which, will you be departing again? Yes. Look after the village. But I would rather accompany you. I wouldn't dare leave your holy care in the hands of this blasphemous, uncouth, shifty, backstabbing stranger. Ivor, tell me again of your duty. My duty? Why, it is to serve you, Lady Mila. And what of your other duty? Uh, to protect the people of Niakara. Those who can't protect themselves. Exactly. And now you see why Jude shall accompany me on this journey. While you fulfill your second duty. But Lady Mila, you wouldn't have lost the great spirits if not for him. No, the fault was mine and mine alone. Indeed, if Jude had okay, Jude's looking back and forth like, what the hell is I going on in here? Safely to Nia Kara. Thanks. I'm only trying to help. But Lady Mila! The matter is not open to debate. Will you abandon your duty to this village? No. Then let's be off, Jude. I hope they haven't closed off the Sea Haven. So does that mean we'll be passing through Hamil again on the way? Hmm. Yes, that's not a bad idea. Really? Is that okay? It will give us a chance to check up on Rashigal's activity here in Ajul. If we're lucky, we might even find a way to sneak into Fenmont. Gotcha. We'll stop by Hamil then. Safe travels to you, Lord Maxwell. And don't hit me. Thank you. I'll be good this time. Lady <laughs> Mila, please return to us safely. Uh, uh, anyway, let's get out of this town. We're headed back to uh, the seaport of Mark Hamill. Yep. Yes. The seaport of Mark Hamill. Yep. We'll get that kid's napple some other time. I'm sure we'll be back. So, Most assuredly. That woman is supposed to be Maxwell. Yes. And you claim she has lost her powers, Pressa. Yes. If she's already hidden the key somewhere, we could have a problem. The fault is mine. I underestimated them. Goodness, a shady guys. group of people. If I'd only known that woman was Maxwell, I would have forced her to reveal the key's whereabouts. No matter. It is in our best interest to let her wander freely for now. Yes. Let her attract the attention of Rashigal, while we quietly put all the pieces in place. Any word from Agria? She says they appear to have decided to construct a new key to replace the one they lost. We cannot ignore that. Zhao, you know He's got bedhead. Watch over the girl. Join the Some pretty wicked bedhead. Indeed. But, sir... If the Rashigal soldiers have withdrawn, you need not monitor her personally. It only makes sense for priority. I wonder how he splits his beard like that. Safe after all. As you say. Just pomade. Pressa, 
Rendezvous with Agria and infiltrate Fenmont. Oh, so it's truly safe to leave Maxwell alone? Yes. We still have another pawn on the board. I'll have him search for the key as well. And back to the Sea Falls. What is it? I was mulling over our options. What if we can't take a boat straight to Fenmont? Well... I vote against taking the land route from Aljul. Crossing the mountains would be a real pain. Alvin? Alvin? We could head toward Sherrilton from Sapstrath Seahaven. We? What do you mean, we? That handmaid of yours offered me a little job. He wasn't so crazy about his exalted spirit traveling with a pipsqueak for a protector. Plus, the good village folk overpaid me. It'd be a stain on my professional pride if I didn't give them their money's worth. And here you said they didn't model the bag. Well. I wonder where the fuck they obscured that then. Yeah. Thanks for coming along. Thank Ivor and the villagers, not me. So, what's the plan? First, we head to Hamil like to drug investigate deal. Rashigal's movement. If they're still there, that is. Then you better take this. Keep it handy, just in case. What's he giving us? Don't touch me. Shall we go? There's nothing in your hand. It's just air. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you made it sound like paper, but it's a world map. We've got a world map. And now can we travel? We can travel now. Neat. We can't travel to many places, but we can do it. Storing mana. No mana. I don't get it. How could the four great spirits get captured? Fundamentally, the four are masses of mana. The Lance of Kresnik absorbs mana and apparently is able to store it. I never thought that was even possible. Apparently it is. We have to go rescue the four then. I do like the pluck, but this might be a case where a bit of pluck will get you a lot of dead. A pissed off med student's probably not a tall order for the group that bagged the four great spirits. I don't know, he's pretty awesome. He is, he punches quite handily. Is that some kind of joke? Yes. At least it is now. Oh, okay. I guess we don't really need to go through here. These things aren't gonna give us too much... Too many nabbles. Oh, maybe we do have to go through here. Damn it! Where are we going? Uh, sea Haven? Right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we we'll, we could go to ha Hamel. Fine. I don't like this town. It smells like blood. <sighs> My stomach seems to be empty again. When do we eat? Okay. Never. Shut up. This is where we meet met the little girl with the thing. It is. She lives in the shed. Which she's not in right now, or she's locked in the <laughs> basement. <laughs> Can I get an apple? Are these napples? Yo. No, I don't care about the girl. I want a apple. You? No. Somebody tell me about apples. Nope, that's just a one. Call D. Alvin's secret. Where do you go after you left the shrine in Nia Kara? That's a secret for grown-ups. It sounds like you're trying to Booty hide call. something. Booty call! Figured that out, did you? Do you want to ask what I was doing? If you don't want to tell me, that's fine. If it's fine with you, then I ain't telling. You don't want to tell me? You don't want to ask? I'm starting to think I'd rather not- What the hell? I'm starting to think you're probably right. Close. I didn't even know that place had titty bars, but apparently it does. <laughs> Indeed. That was quite the weird exchange. Yeah, that was overly uh, meaningless in the end. Indeed. Apples? Apples? Maybe if you went up the tree? Possibly. Let's go ahead and try going up the tree, I suppose. I don't remember what these are, but I know that you can make some kind of liqueur from them. Can't go wrong with liqueur. I mean, I guess you could if you don't drink. Or don't like ice cream. Mm, I was going to say, that's usually what I put liqueur on. What is that thing? 
It's some kind of tree rabbit. <laughs> what madness is this? Oh, these oh, are Perunga. Perun yeah. Damn it, I wanted to nap. It's his coat. Flares out in the wind and lets him float down. I just want his, like, shins one time to, like, fly through his skull. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Is this the exit? I don't know. Okay. Get out of here! Oh, there she is again! Indeed. This is all your fault, you the evil villagers rat. hate her, apparently. Why is she evil? And they're throwing rocks at her. I was gonna say, and, and they're disappearing. <laughs> I think that's the purple thing speaking. It is. That's the stupid purple thing. What's the big idea? I will punch the hell out of you. You okay? Do you have any idea what you people put us through? What'd we do? You bitches. Hmm? You gonna speak up? Is we just gonna glare at this. They couldn't find us, so they took it out on the village. Where'd the big guy go? He should have been able to take the whole army. Once. You outsiders are nothing but trouble! He went to go stare at us as we walked away from the village, <laughs> apparently. She yep. was like a completely different person. An angry, hateful one. So what'd she do? The little girl that's running away. What'd she do that was so I evil? The villagers know anything about Rashigal's activity. Apparently she's just a little Don't girl. We'll be leaving soon. The little girls are Dasha. evil. I, I, I guess. I mean, they're angry at them for being out there and being rushed to go, but why are they mad at her? I'm confused. It's the purple thing. It's just annoying. <laughs> Get out of here, you're annoying! <laughs> it worked for Mila and uh, Ivar, so I guess that would work for uh, this uh, thing, too. No way, come back. <laughs> His lip looks weird. Or maybe that's his teeth, I don't know. His lip teeth? I've seen it. <laughs> what? You lie! Are those napples? Can I throw this old man up there? Well, why is there a bridge to this rock? Who does that? Oh, it looks like it's for water somehow. I have no idea. Huh. <laughs> Shed bed? <laughs> nope. I'm just gonna sleep in this bed right here in the storage shed. Should be fine. And now she's finally down here. Whoosh. <laughs> You'll never find me. I'm a cask. <laughs> hey, can we talk? You can't see me. If don't I can't worry, see, you don't I'm exist. Punch the purple I'm thing. Back. Kill it. We've met once before, right? This is Tipo. He won't hurt you. And this is Ellie, but you should call her Elise. Nice to meet ya. Uh, <laughs> uh, nice to meet you too. Um, both of you. Um, are you okay? It's staring into Just my soul. It doesn't have eyelids. It's not its fault. Well, hey, Jude. Thanks for helping us out before. Thank you. Can I such his voice? So what exactly happened? Can you tell me? Well, first, all these meanie men showed up from who knows where, someplace far away. Then the big man whooped them all. Oh yeah, hey. that guy. The big guy got him. Well, yeah, what the hell? Away somewhere. Right. That's when the meanie men started bullying the villagers. Is the big guy a buddy of yours, Elise? No. He's a bad guy. He locked Ellie up. We arrived here together in Amnes. But they started chucking rocks at us. An Amnes? What the hell's an Amnes? Those meanies. 
<sighs> Jude? Oh, sorry. Are the two of you waiting for friends here or something? Friends? We don't have any. Well, you do now. Huh? Oh. Don't do it, Jude. It's a trap. Well, hey! Jude is our pal! No! I don't think it's a trap, man. I think it's just a little girl. No! <laughs> I tell my friends about you, Elise? Why? I don't like the way the villagers here treat you. I want to ask my friends if there's anything we can do. Sure, why not? Jude's our pal. We can trust him. Look, like it does have eyelids. It can close its eyes. No, no, they just turn into lines occasionally. <laughs> You want to come with? Let's see if we can't find anything down here. Ah, porange. A candle fruit, yep. Do you have any apples? No naples. No naples, no snapples, none of that shit. We could sleep in the shed bed. We could, but I'm full up on health and TP. Oh, okay. That's what I just checked. So is she part of our party now? She is. Or she soon. She shall soon be. That was that was really hard to say for some reason. It's a cake we had earlier, I'm sure. Hey, there Indeed. you are. Oh, it's the doll girl. We're finished here. We didn't learn anything useful. It's time to go. Wait, we need to talk. It's about the girl. Her stuffed animal is so annoying. Are those apples? Yeah, the villagers do seem to treat her like a pariah. Until that big fellow Jow returns, I don't see her situation improving. But Elise insists Zhao isn't her friend. He locks her up when he's around, and the villagers treat her horribly when he's away. Sounds like she's stuck between a jerk and a hard place. Unless it's jerking more jerks. Bring her with us? And then what? Have you given this any thought? You do remember my mission. Yeah. <sighs> Very well. She can come. Really? Jude, do you remember what I told you at the falls? Huh? No. Don't take any wood nickels? Do you have to do. <laughs> Stranger danger? Said. Yeah, I remember. Those words still apply. Can I assume your decision to bring the girl is just another step in your path? That it will help you find the answer <clears throat> you seek? Yes. Then tell Elise she's coming. You got it. I'm that was nice sit here and wave my hand. <laughs> she won't affect my mission. If she slows me down or gets herself in trouble, I'll just leave her behind. My intent from the beginning was to do this alone after all. I'll leave you all behind! And then she leaves us behind. Party members changed. Oh. What a beautiful <clears throat> view. I bet if I yelled really loud, it would echo back. So why not try it? You gotta do things like that while you're still young. When you get to be my age, it can get a little embarrassing. Yeah. All right, why not? Echo! Echo, 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 echo. Alvin! Alvin, 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 Alvin. And what you're doing now isn't embarrassing? A little, a little, a little, a little. And... Oh, anyway, we have a new party member. At least... What is that, is it an apple? Nah, it's just oh a nickel God. in a tree. Who puts money in a tree? Kids. Is some sort of money trees? 
We could be. This could be Animal Crossing. <laughs> Although they should be bells. Also, okay, there's something you missed in that tree. In an empty box, and said egg gets crushed. The cause must lie within the egg itself. How's egg principle? It sounds obvious, but at the same time, not so much. Five hundred years ago, Professor Howe used that principle to deduce how spirit channeling works. Although people still channeled beforehand, right? They just didn't know what they were doing. Yeah, since spirits have no apparent physical form, people weren't aware they existed at all. But Professor Howe surmised that something had to be converting the mana from our mana lobes into arts. And that turned out to be spirits. Yep. His hypothesis was proven with the discovery of spirits that had taken physical forms. And because he figured out what was inside the egg, the age of spirit arts was born. Exactly. Although there's still a lot we don't understand about spirits. Like Maxwell being a busty 20-year-old. <laughs> but even Professor Howe didn't see that. Indeed. Coming. Something I missed in a tree? Yep, right there. Right in there. See the tree sparkling? To your right. To your right. Even further. Turn the camera right. <laughs> right there. Oh! This, iron sand. It's an iron sand tree, yep. I was looking higher. Nope. Hey, it's one of those tree bunnies. A tree bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you people. What are you? Weapons? It's a whoppet shop. Where are all those whoppets? Can I expand? What is the weapon shop? Guess I can give it the iron sand I just got. Eh, that's not worth it. Expand the armor shop? What's the armor shop? Oops. I don't want to do that. Give them all the husks. Was I actually joking about that last episode? <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. Okay, we got some new stuff. Let's go and buy some armor. Get one of those. One of those. I want one of those, but we're too poor. So I guess Elise is not going to be a fighting member of the team? What's going on here? Not yet. Once she gets her coot spa, then she will. Okay. Okay. Sell this. And this. And maybe now we can buy you this. Now we have no money. Hooray! All right, time to get out of this out of town. This Naples town. Those are quite the boots he's got on there. As everyone stares at her evilly. I still don't understand why the hell she call they called her evil. <laughs> it's the puppet. It's all about that thing. Well, whatever. They're just dicks. Pretty much. She's just kind of being uh, escorted for now. Okay. Oh boy, that handmaid of yours is a piece of work. I don't value his temper, but he is quite skilled. He said he's been serving you for years. Yes, he cleans up the shrine, he runs errands, always with a lot of enthusiasm. He buys my clothes and arranges them into outfits. What? Wow, your handmaid has exquisite <laughs> taste. Yes, the clothes are very comfortable. I quite like them. They don't really look very comfortable. Oh, I guess I haven't properly introduced Elise yet. I'm Elise Ludus. Hello. Well, you look like you'll be a fine lady when you grow up. I'm Alvin. It's nice to meet you. I, um, well... Don't talk to strangers, Elise. Strangers are bad. Stranger danger. Why is this stuffed animal talking? Huh? Tipo always talks. Naturally. Oh, so I'm the one who's reacting strangely? Sure looks that way. 
I'm arguing with the stuffed animal. How unusual. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Says, Coming <clears throat> from you, Mila? Alright, you know what? We probably, uh, yeah, we can go to Oladi Sea Haven now. Huh. Probably forced us to go through there so we can get her. Apples? You want to have apples? Get sure there's no. No little... one has any apples. Side quest going on. I don't see any. Me neither. Oh, there's something up there. I need it. I must have it. Someone Wasn't that a... worth it, folks? <laughs> Someone left a penny up here. Okay. Well, that guy's got a quest marker. Not that one that you spoke to. Yeah. One trip Excuse back. Me. When is the next ship leaving for Fenmont? Never. I'm afraid the Rashigal government has blockaded the capital and its surrounding regions. That means all scheduled voyages to Fenmont have been cancelled. We apologize for the inconvenience. Are any ships sailing? Sorry, ma'am. Uh, but the route to Sapstrath Seahaven is still open. Would you like a ticket to Sapstrath Seahaven? Yes. Very well. I was kind of hoping they would require money and we would not have said money. <laughs> but apparently we can ride for free. How much money do we have? Uh, probably about 500 Galdi. Oh. Or 501 since we got that penny. That should be plenty for a plane ticket. He is the bird whisperer. There's a regular bird in this game. This is weird. Usually everything's like a monster. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's not something you see every day. In fact, repeat from the last game, I think it was a goddamn monster. Something like that. He looked like so one. So I keep in touch with someone special from afar. I told her a beautiful woman has appeared in my life. Hey, I didn't know you were married. <laughs> Do I look like the marrying type to you, Mr. Honor Student? Huh? You mean you're not? Who knows? <laughs> Looks like we're about to depart. Yeah. Wow. I've never seen the sea before. Impressive, huh? It's nice how she just went along just with a bunch of random strangers, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> right. I was just thinking. Well, you know, when everyone throws Maybe rocks at you, way around. Maybe anything is probably protected. better. That was a weird sound. <laughs> Tipo, look! Well, hey! Check out that water! You'd die if you fell in. Yeah, I'd die! That's amazing. She's not a bad girl. It doesn't seem that way. <laughs> they would die too, Elise. I wonder if yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's your responsibility. Told you, you it was a trap. Someone on your own. She's not a trap, she's a little girl. Now Never. she's a trap! No. She's not Bridget from Guilty Gear. Uh, not that kind of trap. <laughs> Isn't she always like that? To be honest, I thought for sure she was gonna shoot down your idea to bring the girl along. Why? She's just so single-minded. I bet she'd kick a puppy if it got in the way of her mission. <laughs> Come on. Mila isn't that cold-blooded. Oh, I wonder. I would like to see Speaking that. Of her mission, I hear you two had a rough time at that lab in Fenmont. Did Mila tell you about it? She must have swiped something big from there, huh, kid? Some juicy national secret that got the army all riled up? I don't know. You'd have to ask her. Don't play coy, kid. I'll find out eventually. Why not just tell me now? It'll be our little secret. I'm sorry. I really don't know. Well, I guess she really doesn't trust us. No, that's not true. Wait here. I'll go ask her. No, no. If you really don't know about it, then forget I asked. You gonna go ask her if she trusts us? I mean that. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. But I doubt she'll take kindly to me poking my nose in her business. So don't tell her I asked, okay? All right, got it. Very interesting looking boat or set of boats that we are on. Hey, Indeed, we should be a, it's like a giant right. pontoon boat. Like Close to the next sea haven. Tight Rashigal security is right, right now. Mila! Mila's our pal! 
<laughs> Looks like everyone's getting along at least. <laughs> Mila takes that thing and punts it out into the ocean. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything will work out. Now we're in Sebstreth? I was going to say, the Sea Haven looks exactly, exactly like the other one. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty much, they're all pretty similar. Looks like security's not so tight after So all. lazy, guys. Come on. <laughs> Soldiers are still You're not even trying to hide it. We'll have to be careful. Oh, there's soldiers in this one, see? They have different colored hats. They're no longer purple and black. They were deploying soldiers across the border to find us before. Maybe they found something more important to do than chase after us. Like beat complaining. up little girls. Let's avoid the soldiers and head to Fenmont. Hang in there, Elise. It'll just be a little while longer till we reach the city. Then I'm sure we'll find the perfect person to take you in. What? But I... Take us in? What the hey are you talking about? The hey? Oh, he better. What? <laughs> he just told the little lady he's unloading her on a perfect stranger. That's news to her. No wonder she looks surprised. And he thinks I'm inconsiderate. He's just a kid. Mm -hmm. Nothing. All right, everybody. That's going to do it for this episode. Until next time. See you then, folks. Nope, oh, never mind. We got into <laughs> another cutscene. Well, shoot. It's like they put it right before the book. Uh... Oh, you're not even nice enough to talk for us, huh? You're going to make us read. Don't give the old man an inch. A life-saving story. Northern tribes controlling monsters. Forbidden arts. <laughs> He's fucking them with their lobes. What? Why would he do such a thing? No. It wasn't possible, but he did it still. And he created six new monsters with hyper enlarged mana and <laughs> lobes. I see. It has a weapon growing out of its body. It's like a shovel sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> the devil's arms. <laughs> which are pretty much this game's version of foul arms. I see, except we know about them from the very beginning. Indeed. Took several beasts and led them to a great war. Well, at least this is a bit more interesting than just finding them in the rocks. We find them in monsters. <laughs> but a huge tsunami hit the battlefield. And then everything got washed away. They didn't die, though. They still roam free in the world. Whoa. One's right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> been fighting for over 20 years super strong 20 years interesting coincidence you right okay that was weird anyway we'll see you next time folks indeed